our city. We have stared evil in the eye and watched good prayerful people killed in one of the most sacred of places. We were hurt and broken and we needed to heal. Fifteen years ago, after much contentious debate, South Carolina came together in a bipartisan way to move the flag from atop the Capitol Dome. That was South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley in her call for state lawmakers to remove the Confederate flag from the Capitol grounds. A rally is set for 11 o'clock Eastern time. That's less than an hour from right now. Other Republicans have joined her in that call, including some of those who are in the race for the White House. I am joined now by Rick Santorum, former Pennsylvania senator and Republican candidate for president. He joins me now, Rick uh, Santorum. Very good to have you with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you, Martha. So you were asked about this um, in an interview in terms of whether or not you thought that the Confederate flag should be removed from the Capitol grounds where it was moved from the main uh, state building uh, not too long ago and is now at a war memorial there. You, you, you wouldn't really commit on it. You said it's not really my decision. It's really a South Carolina decision. Why? Well, because, uh, well, f uh, number one, President Obama said the same thing. Uh, Governor Haley yesterday at her, at her news conference said the same thing, that this is the decision of the people of South Carolina. And, and I'm going to respect that decision, and, and I'm actually encouraged by what I see. I, th I see the governor taking leadership, Senator, both United States senators, uh, congressmen, and, and, by the way, state House and Senate members. Uh, I think this is a, there's a encouragement that uh, there's going to be a consensus here that, uh, and that South Carolina is coming to that consensus. And I think that's really important in this whole reconciliation process that uh, we're seeing led here. I mean, I'm in, I'm in Charleston, and I can tell you that they're leading here in Charleston. Uh, they don't need anybody outside telling them how to, how to heal. They're healing already. They're showing how reconciliation can happen. I was at Mother Emanuel Church on Sunday and sat through that amazing service where you saw all the range of human emotions. So you saw the pain. I mean, just you know, meeting people and seeing people in, in real pain and, and anger. And at the same time, forgiveness, reconciliation, uh, the idea that, uh, that you know, they're going to rise above this and, and, and put this in the context of, of, uh, of really uh, using the power of faith. I mean, you, we talk so much about how religion can divide. Look, look at how religion and, this, and, and uh, the faith yeah. of the people at Mother Emanuel Church have really shown a light for this country. So I, I think South Carolina is doing a great job right now, and I yeah. don't think they need a whole lot of people from Washington telling them what to do. Now, I, I would absolutely agree with you uh, on that. They have set an extraordinary example for unity in that city uh, and come together in a way that we all wish we had seen in some other places around the country. Yeah. Uh, that have also yes. been hit by, by violence and have, have made a, a different choice. But I, I do want to just circle back to this flag issue because it's getting a lot of attention. I guess my question is, why not, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, South Carolina is going to decide on their own no matter what you think or anyone else thinks. Um, but, but when asked the question, if it were you um, in that position, would you say, yes, I think we need to take this flag down. It's a symbol for too many people <sighs> of racism and of slavery. Would you say that? Well, of, of course, you know, I was asked the question if I was president, uh, you know, and this was federal grounds, would I ask for its removal? The answer is yes. Uh, but again, I, the, I, I don't understand how the media, you know, focuses on, uh, on an issue that is an important issue, but, but how tremendous a, a, uh, uh, an example that is being said here. And, and we're focusing on a flag when we should be focusing, you know, primarily on, on the pain and suffering of these victims that are, that, that, and, and the amazing way that this community has responded. And no, I'm not I, to say listen, the flag I, is not an important issue. It is an you, important but issue. But I think it's amazing but, to watch Tim Scott and Nikki Haley stand there side by side and say, yes, it is. this is our decision. This is what we want to take down. So it seems to me not a difficult thing to say, yes, that's a, absolutely what, you it's know. Not, it, I'm not suggesting it is a difficult thing. Okay. I'm just suggesting that it's a decision that should be made by South Carolina and and politicizing this and putting it in the context of a presidential campaign, I think just I think cheapens it. I think this is a this is an issue that's that's bigger and more important than that. And and I'm trying to focus in on what I think is uh, is is really amazing of the reconciliation, both with the flag and uh, and, and what's going on here at the yeah. church. And and I don't I don't think necessarily my entering into that and 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 and, and telling what I should do or what I would do is 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 any more of telling or more important than what the people actually are doing here. All right. Let, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you, you know, you mentioned that you were in the church and, and it just, you know, has come up in looking at what happened there, that you were seated next to uh, DeRay McKesson, who was one of the uh, leaders of the Black Lives Matter movement. What did you, what did you do to yeah. talk about? 
Uh, frankly, I didn't know who was he. Uh, he came. I was sitting there, and he came and sat next to me and uh, he introduced himself. I, I frankly didn't know who he was, and uh, and I just uh, you know exchanged pleasantries with yeah. him. Uh, I think we made a couple of comments. Uh, I, I, again, I was just so moved by the service, and and I think I made a couple of comments about about that, how amazing this whole experience was, and. Uh, he was spending a lot of his time on his phone. Yeah. Well, uh, it did do, it bring a lot, a lot of people together, as you said. I, uh, before I let you go, yeah. though, I do want to ask you one, one more quick uh, presidential campaign election question, because you're uh, at around, I guess, around 2%, maybe a little bit less than that at this moment. How are you feeling about how it's going, and how much does that number matter to you? I know you're on a sweep from South Carolina to Iowa right now. Yeah, I, you know, I, when I won the Iowa caucuses in 2012, we were at 4% in the national polls. So I don't really pay much attention to what's going on in national polls. They don't really matter. In the end, right. you know, the fact that we were able to win, win Iowa and, uh, and then 10 other states, uh, we, uh, we never really vaulted to the top of the national polls. I think we won four states. So, uh, the, I, again, right, we uh, you had folks who were at the top of the national polls who ended up not winning a single delegate. Sorry, so I, Senator. I don't think we pay attention to that. We, we focus on Iowa. I'm about to get cut off, so that's why I'm jumping in. I apologize. Good to have you here, Senator. <laughs> we'll see you, you soon.